to the three-prong plug. Hey. <laughs> no, Ron, I'll just cut that fat thing right off of there. <laughs> Whole neighborhood. <laughs> and who gave the permission to change every plug you got? One side is always just a little bit bigger than the other. <laughs> Ever try to pound that in an extension cord that's going in there? <laughs> and there's a Mary to the last. <laughs> Good night, I'm here all week. You know, I got the first shed of my grinder, though. Eat, eat. Oh. <laughs> Gotta watch electricity, folks. You do. It'll shock you. <laughs> I write this myself. <laughs> My nephew came over. I'm trying to show him how to plant a door down at my house. He's not listening. He's trying to jam a penny in an outlet. What do kids do stuff like this for? I gotta warn him. Greg, I certainly wouldn't want to do this for you. <laughs> now, whoever said a penny didn't go far didn't see that kid scoot across that linoleum. <laughs> I told him he was grounded. <laughs> Some things women don't understand that they should. See, women don't understand oil, lubrication. You'd think they would, but they don't. You understand that? Well, I, what I meant was my wife seized up the motor in my Buick. Seized up, 900 bucks. Seized up the motor. Didn't the oil light go on? Oh, uh, yeah. Not expecting the truth, I was stunned. Days. I wasn't gonna pull over. Oh hell no! I usually get out and change it all on go going 70 mile an hour, huh? How do they know what they know? Every woman gets out of the shower, puts that Hindu head wrap. You ever try that, men? You look like an irritated Iraqi. Things hanging all over. <laughs> like there's any other kind of Iraqi at this point. <laughs> um, Women can do that left boob tuck out of the shower. Like a disco dress, it's on. Men, you twist and you're pulling it. <coughs> Take one step, it's sitting right there. <laughs> That's why I recommend a staple gun and double-sided carpet tape. <laughs> that blood stain will fat. That stain will fat. Nothing screws up a woman's day more than stain fetting. Oh, forget it, now it's fat. It's fat in there now. But they know how to take care of themselves because they got that cosmetic tackle box. Ever see that thing? Yeah. Little eye thing. What is this thing for? Removing the eyeball and dusting behind it or something? <laughs> they will pluck their eyebrows. Think, ouch, think, oof, think, ouch, think, and then draw them right back in. You explain this to me. I don't get it. They look at themselves too close. That's the major problem in this country. I'm like yay to the mirror. Eh, I don't want to get too close. You know, I never leave the house. She's right up on that mirror. Oh, look at that. Oh, jeez. Oh. And then, just to beat the band, she flips over that magnifying mirror. Oh! Good God, nose hairs look like timbers in that thing. I got blackheads from high school I haven't taken care of. You don't want to look that close. The problem you women have is choices. You got too many choices these days. Work, not work. Work full time. Work part-time. Work part-time, have children. Work full-time, have our pair. Have a pool boy, be married. Marry the pool boy. Work, don't work. Men, we have the same choices we've always had. We can work. <laughs> Thank you very much, I'm